टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रूरल अर्बन माइग्रेशन माइग्रेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन आर डायरेक्ट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इन स्पेस पर्टिकुलरली इन द कंटेम्प्रोरी फेज ऑफ द ग्लोबलाइजेशन ए लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ द माइग्रेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन इन इंडिया हैव बीन लिंक टू स्टेगनेशन एंड वोलेटिलिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड लैक ऑफ सेक्टोरल डाइवर्सिफिकेशन विद इन एग्रेरियन इकोनॉमी The growth threat in agricultural production and income has been noted to be low, unstable, and disparate across regions over the past several decades, resulting in lack of livelihood opportunity in rural areas. A low rate of infrastructure investment in public sector in the period of structural adjustment necessary for keeping budgetary deficit low also have affected agriculture adversely. This has led to out migration from several backward rural areas most of the migrant being absorbed within urban informal economy but the capacity of the cities and towns to assimilate the migrant by providing employment access to land basic amenity etc are limited the problem have acquired severity as migrant have shown high selectivity in choosing their destination destination which has been selected based on the availability of employment and other opportunity leading to regional un unbalanced urbanization rural urban migration has often been considered the major factor for growth of slums in urban areas united nation has warned that rapid urbanization and migration would lead to tripling of slum population by 2050 hindering the attainment of millennium development goals so we will now discuss what are the different factors which leads to migration so there are basically two factors there is push factor of the migration and there is the pull factor of the migration push factors of the migrations are those those factors which compel individual or group to migrate from one place to another and the push and the pull factors are those factors which attract person or group to a place or a space so what are the different push and pull factors so the push and pull factors can be categorized into different category like administrative factors climatic factors social factor economic factors educational factors and other basically we will concentrate on three factors economic environment and social and administrative four category so what will be the push factor in environmental environment or climate so the occurrence of the flood drought cyclone tsunami it is it can be the factors which will push population from one location to other and what can be the push pull factor in the climate and environment so like a very good climate like the climate of the dehradun climate of rishikesh hilly towns mostly you can say so you will find that in those towns there is a pull factors population people are migrating from delhi and ncr area to dehradun rishikes for residing there so now we will discuss about the administrative factors so in administrative factors there will be a bad rule there is a corrupt police administration so there might them push they can push them if the legal and judicial system is not providing justice to the individual or community then they might migrate to from one place to another similarly a city administration can be more efficient and then they can provide good facilities so it can also be a pull factor for those who are in coming to those urban centers so there can be social factors also 
like in the villages you will find that there is a caste discrimination there is a a lot of other discriminations untouchability caste based uh, discrimination so to avoid those discriminations and injustice social injustice people might migrate that can act as a push factor to push people from one area to another likewise in the urban areas there can be there can be dilution of the caste system in the urban areas most of the urban center you will don't find that there is a strong caste identity but there will might be class identity this is based on the economic like lig mig hig so this can also be a pull factor in the urban area if they provide better social justice system non discriminatory approach of the society then they might come to urban areas so there can be economic factors also in economic factors in the rural areas you will find that there is a lack of job opportunity lack of economic base lack of industrialization so people are forced or pushed from rural areas to move to urban areas on the other hand in the urban areas you will find that there will be good industrialization there will be a lot of job opportunities and uh, so the incoming population they might find that they are get they can profitably get absorbed in the economic system of the urban so you will find that there are basically four component administrative environmental or climatic second third will be social factors and third will be fourth will be economic factors so there are four basically four factors which decide the push and pull factor for the migration thank you thank you for discussion